what's up? My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to fix crashing, especially on launch, and a black screen on launch for Need for Speed Unbound. This also works for crashes in gameplay, though some of them may be more specific to a glitch or something more specific on your hardware. It's a general fix guide that'll usually help you out if you're getting random crashes or the game's not launching properly. Anyways, let's get into it. First of all, if you haven't already, reboot your PC, and assuming you've already done that really basic step, we'll be opening up the platform that we own the game on. Starting with Steam over here, simply locate it, right-click Properties, and then on the Local Files tab, we'll be clicking Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you have it in the EA Desktop app instead, head across to Your Collection, click the three dots above the game, and then choose Repair. Though if you don't see this, you may need to go into Origin to do this instead, so finding the icon in my tray, right click, exit, and opening up Origin instead. Inside of here, under my game library, you should be able to right click the game on your PC and then choose repair. It's a little bit weird, but I'm pretty sure if you own the game on EA desktop, it'll allow you to repair through there. Anyways, with repairing and verifying the game files out of the way, if you're still having an issue, we can try clearing out the settings for the game, as well as a specific cache file that's apparently been causing people some issues. With this, we'll be heading across on our PC to C, Users, followed by your username, and then Documents. Inside the Documents folder here, clicking anywhere and hitting N to jump to N, we'll find Need for Speed Unbound, and inside of here, you'll find a Settings folder. What we can do is delete this folder or rename it to reset our settings for the game. Note that this isn't your save game or screenshots, these are different folders here. On top of this, some people have found success opening the cache folder here and deleting everything inside of it, or at least the .pcdx12 file here. It's the largest one and usually causes the issue, at least for some people. Something else we can try to do is navigating to where the game is installed and launching it directly from the exe file. On Steam, right-click the game, choose Manage, and click Browse Local Files. If you have it on EA Desktop, I'm not too sure how to get there, but regardless, we're looking for wherever the game is. In this case, it's Excalibur on Steam. Very weird. Scrolling down, we'll find Need for Speed Unbound and Need for Speed Unbound Trial. If you're using the Trial, obviously you'll open the Trial EXE, otherwise you'll be opening the full EXE here. Of course, you can right-click properties and try messing around with the settings on the compatibility tab. Sometimes disabling full screen optimizations and even running as administrator may help, though it may not as well. It's worth a shot. If you haven't updated your graphics drivers, now's the best time to do so. Hopefully that'll fix your issue, otherwise you can try side grading them to a more stable version. In the description down below, you'll find the AMD and NVIDIA websites to download graphics drivers. Starting with NVIDIA, we'll be searching for our product. Over here, using these dropdowns, select your operating system, and where it says Download Type, we'll be selecting Studio Driver instead of Game Ready Driver. It'll download a slightly older version when we search for it and download it here, though it should be far more stable. On AMD, we'll be locating our graphics card here, I'll choose something random here, submit, and on the download section here, we'll be looking for our PC. I'm using Windows 11. If you're using Windows 11 and you only see Windows 10, you can expand that instead. Then from the drop down, we'll see AMD Adrenaline. This is the Gamer Edition per se. And scrolling down, we have the Pro Edition. This is a slightly older driver, though it is far more stable. You can download it and install it here to side grade from the Gaming Edition to the Professional edition, it's basically the same, just it should be more compatible with games, etc. When you verify the game on Steam, it should reinstall all of the redistributables, which is only really necessary if you're moving the files from another PC. You can manually install redistributables by right-clicking the game, manage and browse local files. Otherwise, if you're on other platforms, there are other ways to get here. Then we'll be heading into the underscore installer folder and we'll find not only the DirectX installer inside of DirectX Redist and sorting by type, the application DX setup is what we can run here. But we also have the VC for Visual C, opening up one of these folders, Redist, we have an EXE here. Same with 2017 and 2015 over here. We'll be installing all of these. Then Origin, once more, Redist, Internal. You can run the EA app installer here. With that out of the way, 
Hopefully, your PC is a little bit happier with Need for Speed Unbound, though do note it is still relatively new, so there are probably going to be lots of issues that will be patched out. On Steam, you can head across to the Community Hub tab over here, or Discussions rather, and see what the community is talking about. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.